beautiful morning here at Fitness Culture. As you can see, there is no one in the gym, but one specific vanilla gorilla. It is leg day. It's time to get back into some fitness. And I know I've said that before with the grand opening, with the launch of this app. It's funny how your life can be so much about fitness, business aspect, your personal life starts to suffer. Suffer For you personal trainers out there, you guys know what I'm talking about because you guys are training people all the time. I did it through college training people all the time and you don't always feel like working out so what do you do when that happens you show up nice and early you put first thing first in your day first thing first in your day get here early get it done that way that way when it's four o'clock you don't feel like doing anything and you have all these excuses in the world you have it done everyone has an excuse at four or five o'clock and it's always a good one meaning you're gonna find that excuse, appointment, you know, have to run, pick up this person or do that. Whatever it is, usually excuses. When there's other people awake in the world, there's usually you have that excuse if you want to find it out there. So when you're nice and early, when you wake up nice and early, and it's not that early, you know, woke up at 6 a.m. this morning, when you wake up early, there's less of those excuses. There's less people up in the world that need your attention. Come in early to lift. If you're having that problem, come in early and just get it done, okay? Leg day leg day all right what we're doing right now we've warmed up we've stretched we foam roll we did a little calisthenic training now just a little bit of speed training nothing to like really tax nothing to get us exhausted um but we've got this band here oh we're gonna show you how it's done and this is why do we do this this is gonna go on like the athlete program that we do a lot more um explosive stuff again more athletic training how you would train if you're a collegiate or professional athlete what do we today we're just doing like some uh 15 yard get offs resisted get offs more like what you do to train for a 40 yard dash it's just nice because we there's can not do a lot it. of deceleration because someone's holding the band. It's easy on your body and it's great to get you fired up before you lift. Now, some of you might be thinking, yo, this looks like another movement. Some crazy Instagram model thought of five minutes because she needed, she thought of it in five minutes because she needed to post something for the day. But what we're doing here is lengthening the back and then closing that angle in the hip. What, are you, what, what is this work in here, Coach Hutton? Trying to warm up my hip flexors. Warm up your hip flexors. My hips are bugging me. That is the one area. Like, if you want to have back problems, also have tight hip flexors. Those hip flexors relate to so many things in that posterior chain. So if you're not warming up your hip flexors and stretching these out, when you sit down throughout the day, you see how how this is not a this is a very unconventional movement here because really what we're doing is the exact opposite of sitting down in a chair you sit down in a chair all day at a computer what does it do your muscles the hip flexors all those all those that whole complex in the hip there starts shortening up shorter and shorter and shorter so we need to do this to open those hip flexors back out more stuff you can expect from the athlete program here. Little Olympic lifting work. Again, this program is all about explosion. All about just looking like a freak, performing like a freak. You Look good, right feel good, perform well, Jake. I never know if you're looking at yourself or me, man. I'm looking at you. If it's me, I'm up here. Oh. Because you get that good lighting. So, up here. How's the lighting up here right now? It's, it's really good. washed out. Well, you look big as shit. Good job on that, 315, killing it. <laughs> All right, want to sit down with Jake. Cause when, I never actually introduced Jake. I just, you guys know Jake now. Well, maybe you don't know Jake. Jake, it was, played football against me in high school. I ran over his ass. <laughs> oh, oh, found it up. That is not true. Uh, he was a junior and I was a senior. I was uh, all state running back. Jake went on to play football at Utah State where he was a freshman All-American, blah, 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 or freshman. All-American. Oh, <laughs> he was a freshman All-American. Ended up breaking, why am I telling your story? Ended up breaking both of his feet a couple different times. Um, I'm not bullshitting when I say Jake would have been in the league if he had not broken his feet. He's one, like, you look at the dude's head and it was just meant to tackle people. 
to run as fast as you can into somebody else with your head. Um, like, you play with Bobby Wagner. Bobby Wagner learned everything he knows from Jake. Uh, <laughs> but <I'm not> sure. <laughs> Bobby Wagner. He is a beast, though. He is a beast. Um, but yeah, so our programming, the way Jake and I first met, it was I was you know I was doing shows and stuff, and I was realizing I wasn't as athletic and strong as I was. This is about five years after just doing the bodybuilding stuff. So I met Jake. Jake at the time was doing some CrossFit stuff, and when I say CrossFit. He was competing in the games on a team, but super, super strong, like just freaky strong and looked like he could do physique stuff. So we kind of got talking, you know, this, this is kind of how this evolved. Because you really weren't doing like CrossFit workouts all the time. You were doing functional, like. I did CrossFit workouts, but I didn't major in like everyone else did. I did right. a lot less Metcons, I guess you would call them. Gotcha. Or, well, I don't know. So I did a lot of just strength training, conditioning, and then every once in a while I'd work on the other stuff. I mean, I did a workout once at the Granite Games where we started with muscle ups and I got everyone finished. I dropped off at nine and then I ended up like passing everyone when we got to the actual work of it. So you are really good at like the My moving. work capacity is yeah. good. Picking stuff up and moving it somewhere else. I'm really Best good at in that. the world at it. <laughs> that. But all like the gymnastics, skipping pull ups, I'm okay at it. But right, just body weight not, stuff not that these 150 pound crossfit dudes are conditioned to do. They destroy me on the Right. Side, yeah. Jake also, uh, he was a strength conditioning Graduate assistant at SUU, right? No, I was the assistant. I, I always say graduate assistant. Well, I went there as a GA, but I was only GA for a couple months. Gotcha. And then I got the assistant position and gotcha. head of basketball. And that's also like our, our other coach, Coach Alan Bishop. He's at the University of Houston, played football with Jake at University Utah State. Um, so that's kind of the team we have behind these programs. And they were all set out because I felt like there was something missing in you know the bodybuilding world, the Instagram. The Instagram fitness world, you have CrossFitters and you have bodybuilders and it seems like, you know, they always are kind of bumping heads. Um, and it really just comes down to programming's programming. There's, you know, there's there's different ways to achieve a goal, obviously, but when it comes to powerlifting, Jake's probably the strongest person I've ever met, naturally, pound for pound, like just phenomenal powerlifter. Um, I, I kind of, you know, did the physique world, so when you're talking about building a lean physique, that was kind of like my department. I brought that kind of bodybuilding stuff. Jake brought in the programming that he, you know, he, from where he knew, you know, the, the functional world, the, the strength and conditioning coaching world. So I feel like it's the best of both worlds. So that's what our programs are kind of set around. We have Big, which is now called Swole. We have Lean. We have the Athlete Program and the Power Program. And those things are new. We also have a three day a week, a three day a week program for people that just can't get into the gym as much. Uh, but each pro program is really based off of uh, progressive training, depending on what your goals are. Obviously, the power program is going to incorporate more heavier heavier days. Well, I mean, well, you're the power guy. You tell me, what, what is a power day? How is it different or what is it really? It's definitely consistent? like a non-traditional split. It's basically how I train. Right. And so, like, the goal of all of our programs are they have an emphasis, but no matter what you're doing, we still want you to have a good physique. Yeah. Like, there's no reason you can't be good at powerlifting and not have big arms right. and like abs and a good chest, you know what I mean? So that's kind of the way the power program split up is it's a six day a week program. It's basically, we go upper, lower, upper, lower, upper, lower. So for six days, but it's split up in a way that it makes sense. So gotcha. it's not like, it's a lot of volume, but at the same time, so we'll go heavy upper, heavy lower, and then we'll start like Wednesday is really a shoulders and arms day. Right. If you're looking at a bodybuilding split, but we start the day with our dynamic effort just like some chest, some speed bench type of things, some right. speed back movements, and then we move into the shoulders and arms. So it's quick, 10 minutes, move on to the shoulders and arms. You guys can actually check out that exact workout from two days ago, we put it up on, on YouTube. So like, like Jake's saying, we want everyone to look better, feel better, and perform better. No matter what program you are on, because I'm getting a lot of questions with these two new programs coming out, which one's right for me? Like no matter what program you are, you're gonna look better, you're gonna feel better and you can perform better um, because we're taking care of not only just the training but the diet aspect, the mobility stuff. So a lot of people aren't stretching, aren't foam rolling. Um, so that being said, these programs are gonna be able to be signed up at any time. We were just doing uh, short runs. You had like a week to sign up and then the program would last 12 weeks and then we do a different cycle of training in there. Now these programs are live. They're gonna be live year round and it's just oh, since we have coaches like Jake, like Alan, um, we have people that are constantly updating it and we're doing new, you know, the splits right now are, are set 
and they're all a little bit different. If people want to jump from one training program to another, all they have to do is email because I had some people be like, I want to try out the athlete program, but then in a couple weeks, I actually want to do the swole program because I want to put on some size. That's our lean mass building program. So I, I think this is going to be a way, everything's based off of people's one rep max. So if you go to the site, if you go to fitnessculture.com, you're able to pick your program that you want. Once you sign up, and in, on each program, it'll kind of explain who is it for. The, the swole program, like I said, lean mass, mass gaining. You have the, the lean program, which is actually going to reduce body fat, reduce probably total body weight as well. And then you have the athlete program, which I think is, I'm really excited about because I think it's a good all around program. It's something that if I'm not training specifically for a bodybuilding show, I'm typically doing the athlete program because I feel like it's the best way to look good year round. If you, if you feel me there, there's, it's, it's fun conditioning. It's you doing some cool Olympic lifting on top of those traditional bodybuilding exercises. One thing that I was, people, I hear people say all the time, right? They're always like, oh man, I used to be, I've lost a step or I used to be so fast. Like I'm just getting older, you know? And, it's a, and I always say, well, when's the last time you did anything? Cause people will comment on our training and be like, what are you training for? Like I'm trying to make fun of right. like, explosive stuff. And right. it's like, uh, I just want to not get slower. I want to get like, old, man. Yeah, exactly. Well, I mean, it's really is though, like if you want to, if I wanted to go play basketball or yeah. play like some like pick up football game like flag football, we can go do it and have fun with it, not get hurt, and stay right. athletic, and just brings like a fun aspect to the training. And I think there's no reason that people should look down on training like that. Right. I'm, not, I'm just, like so. So many people think I that you're training that way. You're you're trying to be a crossfitter. You're trying to be yeah. something else. But really, no, it's, it's like, just a fun way to train. Yeah. Stay explosive. Like why would you want to not be explosive when you get older? Like you you were younger, but now it's like okay, I don't right. want to do that anymore. I'm just gonna work on going in there and hitting some curls and looking good and then leaving. You're able to just change between, between programs. So if you wanna, all right, now maybe I wanna do a physique show. So I hop on the swole program for six months. When you get off of that, unless your goal is just to keep getting bigger and bigger. Right. Like, you no, know, you've hit a goal, maybe you did a show. If you're really good at it, maybe you wanna try to do another one, but still like I'd get off that and do the athlete program for a couple months yep. just to maintain function and make sure I can still deal with those athletic things. So you and know, that's what it. I was missing. Yeah, exactly. I, I did so many, it was almost like I was doing the swole program for five years straight. And what I noticed is I hadn't done anything for you know Olympic lifting. I hadn't done any type of conditioning. I was so into this mindset of I'm gonna do my steady state cardio. I might do some hit, just sprints on a, on a treadmill every now and then, but I would try to change direction. And I was like, I, my, twitch, my twitch, my type two muscle fibers aren't what they once were. Like I'm not explosive anymore. And I think that's what Jake's, like as we get older, if you, if you don't train it, you lose it. If you're not training that way, you're gonna lose that. And that's not because necessarily you're getting older. Now, yes, there's factors that are come into getting older, but um, if you guys are out there and you don't want to lose that, if you're in your 20s and you don't want to lose that when you're 30 and 40, keep training like you did when you were an athlete in, in high school or in college. So I'm excited because I'm getting people out there like, yo, I played high school football or I played college basketball and they're giving these programs a try and they're like, I haven't done a box jump in forever or I haven't done, you know, I've, I've never done back, banded back squats and I'm feeling explosive again. And that's what gets me excited. So I think the athlete program is something that I'm super stoked about because if you look at an Olympic runner or sprinter or if you look at an NFL player, the way they train, they look phenomenal. They have low body fat. And it's, yes, they're God-given athletes, you know, first and foremost, they have some amazing genetics. But secondly, they're not training necessarily like, you know, they might hit arms, they might do some bodybuilding stuff, but the best way I think to stay lean year round is to constantly be pushing your body, like doing some intense form of, of conditioning each day. And that's kind of what the athlete program I think is cool about. Like it's, it's ways of making it fun. The other day we did sprints where one person was behind the other, we were lying flat, get up and try to run and, and, and tag the other person. Those are things like you do as a kid that are fun and you're like in shape. You don't even realize you're getting in shape because you're having fun yeah. doing it. Like my heart was getting up. Yeah. Anyhow, wanted to kind of tell, tell you guys a little bit more about it. Go to Fitness Culture, check out the different programs. Once you get the program that you want, um, then and you, and you sign up for it, you'll then get an email with your login for the app. So you go into the app store, Apple or Android, and you download the app. The app is where it houses all of your workouts. So each day you'll have your different workouts sent to you. Each exercise has a specific video on how to do it. And then also everything's based off of your one rep max. So our first week is all about one rep max. So whenever you sign up the following week, that's max week. It's testing week. 
Don't worry about, you know, if you're embarrassed, nobody sees it but you. And there's only one place to go from that right there, and that's up. So, anything you want to add? No, man, I think we're good. All right, let's go work out. <laughs>